Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing great today. In this cool lesson, we're gonna take the pentatonic scale and make it awesome by connecting it all over the fretboard. It's gonna make your riffs, your soloing, just your overall playing better. Here we go, let's have fun with this. Okay, so if we're in the key of A, we're gonna go right here. It's gonna be on the uh, uh, fifth fret, low E. So the pentatonic scale, like we know, is five notes. So normally we would play it like this. But that's too many notes. We don't want to do that. So how do we do it differently? Let's play a different that goes this way. So descending uh, or ascending, depending on which way we go or back that way. So what we would do is we would play right here. And then we need one more note to make it the fifth note. That's just five notes, so it uh, works pretty, pretty well. So we want to keep going, sliding down to the next fret. So if we go to the next fret, um, or the next section, we take that exact same five note pattern. We come down here on the fourth string. Uh, this is actually also an A. Remember, it's exactly, it's exactly the same notes. We drop down to this A and we play that same pattern again. Slide. That's why it's called a sliding scale, because we're sliding into it. here uh, since this is um, the way the guitar is tuned this is the B string and as you know when you're tuning it it doesn't work correctly so you have to uh, move down and skip a string that's the only hard part so from here and then we're gonna go right here this is also an A note and you're like wait how is that possible it's possible because the guitar is amazing and it just connects the dots pretty sweet. So A. So this is a F sharp uh, note right here, 14th fret on the high E. So those are what we call fretted notes. You can also bend those. So if we go back up here, you can bend them up or down. So you can bend this note right here and this note's going to be the E. So basically you can bend the E note. If we come down here, the E note, we can bend that um, a full tone because that's what we're sliding to. You can also bend it here. If you don't want to bend, you can just play the licks here. The whole pattern. Remember, you guys are just taking your time on these. It's just going to take a while to get the pattern down. But once you get it down, you just move it. And you guys can move it to a different key. Right now, like I said, we're in the key of A. But you can move it to any key you want to as you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to play... Um, I'm going to play the chords that this uh, progression is going to go over and you'll notice pretty quick that it works really well over these chords because they're in exactly the same spot as this whole sliding scale. Um, so the first one's going to be actually an E chord and it's going to be right here. And we're going to go down to a B minor, the two chord of A. And then we're going to play an E, a D, and then an E. And then we're going to resolve it back to the A.
have uh, basically a bridge part of this little progression that I came up with. So that goes to the sixth chord, which is uh, F sharp minor. Back to the five. And then to the one. Four, which is D. And we do it again. Okay, so um, again, one more time. Then you can do all sorts of really cool licks with that. Remember, any lick you do, you can play it somewhere else with this pattern. You can do the same thing here. Play it here. It's not going to sound as good because it's high lower. Okay, so like I was saying, once you take these three um, exact same patterns, you link them together, they're all the same notes. It just sounds amazing. So you could play riff up lower and then you could go up a little bit higher and then you could finish it off up higher even from there. And then you guys, the, the sky's the limit on that. Okay, so we're gonna play through this little track that I made. It's got just a verse section and it's got a bridge section. I'm gonna play just uh, the scales, the three positions that I showed you guys. And then on the second pass, we're going to do basically just a little bit of vibrato and a little bit of bending. And then the last is going to be the bridge section where we play through that. So just follow along and pay attention to what I'm doing and you guys will be able to play this pretty awesome. Okay, second pass. Okay, so here's the bridge section. Alright everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that and you learned something from it. Remember you can take that and move it all over the fretboard. The pentatonic scale can give you guys a lot of great mileage and get you a long way down the road. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe if you haven't and like it and comment. I really would appreciate it. Also, if you guys are looking for other great videos, check out these videos I've done recently. Some are on the blues and some are on just different beautiful chords. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.